Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to stay motivated and productive during quarantine. Hey there. Have you been a little bit less productive lately because you've been kind of stuck at home? Are you eating a lot more than you actually need out of boredom? If you're watching this post self-isolation, hopefully that's soon, let's pray, then these are still going to be tips that are helpful in your day-to-day -day life. So you can still use these, it'll still be relevant, but these are especially relevant right now. I'm hearing so many people say that they're eating out of boredom, don't really feel like they're taking care of their bodies. I'm here to offer you some helpful tips to kind of be more productive and help you overcome these unproductive habits. You can get your life back on track and just kick those bad habits to the curb. I wanna help you feel like the best version of yourself and that starts with motivation. So let's get motivated. Yes, let's get motivated. Let's do this. Hearing people say that they've been overeating, it is so real and I eat when I'm bored too and it gives you pleasure. And my, my really good friend told me like, I just don't know how to stop eating. Um, there's certain ways that you can stop overeating. You can also check out my other video about um, five mistakes I made on my fitness journey and that kind of gives you some pointers on how to stop overeating. Also intermittent fasting is really helpful with that. If you are a victim of boredom hunger, let me just take a moment to normalize this for you. You are not alone. I'm on this like Facebook page for intermittent fasting for women and that's like the number one post that I see everyone complaining about is they just can't stop eating because they're bored. So it's like so real and you're not alone. I want you to keep in mind the importance of a healthy mind and a healthy body. They go hand in hand. You need to take care of your mind and your body in order to feel mentally well all around. I've said this in my other videos, but it's just so important to be active and it's really good to start off your day with being active. So you can go for a walk, you can walk your dogs, you can just, you know, if you want to go for a run, you can, you don't have to, just be active in general. Recently, you might find yourself being sucked into the couch and you're not really getting as many steps in as usual. You will feel so much better if you actually start being active and moving around. In order to overcome this, you really need to be active straight away, like as soon as you get up. I've been kind of having this bad habit of sleeping in lately because I can, and that's something that I want to kick to the curb because once life gets back to normal, I'm not going to be able to have that luxury. So that's something that I need to work on myself. But something I have been doing is as soon as I do actually get out of bed, I do my workout right away. And then the rest of my day, I feel so energized and so good. I heard somebody else say recently that you should dedicate 45 minutes of your day to being active. That could be like going on a walk, taking a hike, maybe a bicycle ride. And you're dedicating that 45 minutes to being active and just that. So that means that like cleaning your house doesn't really count because that's multitasking. You really need to dedicate 45 minutes at least of your day to being active and then that'll make it more part of your self-care routine and, and you're gonna be making sure that you're getting it done. I also highly recommend that if you don't work out now, you try adding it to your daily routine. I, when I first started getting into working out, I was really into HasFit, which is Heart and Soul Fitness YouTube channel. It's a couple, um, it's Coach Kozak and his wife, Claudia, and they have a lot of really good beginner's workouts, which are really actually not that hard to do. Um, I mean, they, they might be hard at first. Like it was hard for me at first to get into it, but just give it a shot. I'm gonna actually put the link below to some of my favorite beginner's workouts by them. And you don't really have an excuse because you, you don't actually need any equipment for a lot of them. Like the ones I'm going to put down there, you don't need anything. They do recommend that you can grab a couple water bottles or like soup cans if you want to like add a little bit of extra resistance. But that's a really good idea to just get yourself active and moving. And you'll de definitely see that your energy level is going to be more positive. If you're worried about gaining weight, if you get moving, you're going to have a better chance of burning off that calories that you're eating. And you have the time, so you don't really have an excuse anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have the time to work out. What you really need to do is make the time for it. And I've said this before in my other video, but a lot of people say they don't have the time, but there's a big difference between that and making the time. You really do have the time. You just need to like wake up earlier, get it done early. If that's, if, you, if you're somebody that can get it done early like me, then great and stop making excuses. Something that's really helpful is making yourself a to-do list. I always have a list in my notes of things that I have to do for the day. I'm gonna put an example right here. It could be like as simple as drinking a cup of green tea 
and making sure I have my apple cider vinegar every morning. That's like something on my to-do list that I check off. It could be something really simple or if you wanted to, you know, start reading and you want to like read a book. So like that could be on your to-do list. It is just so satisfying to make a list of things to do for yourself and then check them off because you're going to feel like so much more accomplished. So if you have an iPhone, you can actually make your schedule on your notes, which is what I do, but it's really satisfying just like checking it off your list. So take my word for it. It just, it really makes you feel a lot more productive. Give yourself that credit for getting shit done even if it's something little and then you're gonna feel a lot more accomplished and just better overall it's great for self-care take my word for it the next thing i wanted to talk about is knowing the difference between mind hunger and actual hunger you know that you don't need the extra calories you know that you don't need the extra food but you want it anyway your body doesn't need it so I got really good advice from Gravity Transformation YouTube channel. I'm gonna put his link below for when he talks about this because it was really helpful for me when I was trying to overcome eating too much and boredom eating and overeating. Here's a strategy that works pretty well. Whether it's pizza, cheesecake, like chocolate covered peanuts, chocolate covered pretzels, just chocolate in general, that thing that you want that's like singing to you and you're like, oh my God, I want it so bad that's gonna make me fat. The way to overcome this is by giving yourself permission to have the treat food. You can have it, but only after filling up on the nutrient dense food, like green foods, like fruits and vegetables and like a big salad. You fill up on the healthy food first and then you allow yourself to have the treat afterwards. The reason why this works is because when you're really craving that food, it's really, really hard to just like wanna eat a little bit of it. Like if you're really hungry and the first thing you go for is Oreos, you're not just gonna have one or two, you're probably gonna eat like a half or a whole pack of Oreos, let's be real. Already fill yourself up on like nutrient dense food and then you have like a couple Oreos after, you're much less likely to overindulge. And that's really important to keep in mind. So let yourself have it. Cause there's this really annoying fact about psychology and I've heard people talk about it in school. If you tell yourself not to think of a pink or a purple elephant, what do you do? You think of the purple elephant, right? So the same thing with food. If you tell yourself, I'm never gonna be able to have pizza again, all you're gonna do is think about pizza. But first I'm going to fill up on nutrient dense food. It's a really good strategy. It'll help you with not overeating. You can still have the treat here and there, but you're not gonna be like stuffing your face. Something that's really unfortunate about the food that we crave all the time, those like high sugar, high carb, all of that stuff that you crave that you know isn't good for you. It doesn't actually like fill you up. Like you might be satisfied with your mind is satisfied because you satisfied that craving, but your body's not satisfied. There's like a big difference. Like you're not actually nourishing yourself. You can have that treat food in moderation, but only after you fill yourself up. If you need some tips on some healthy recipes, I'm gonna be posting more healthy recipes. I did post a recipe for my favorite tofu peanut butter stir fry, which is like a vegan and healthy, delicious, very filling, protein rich, meal and i posted a video on it so you can go check that out if you eat like a big bowl of that you're not gonna want like the ice cream and stuff as much because you're gonna be full i mean you might want a little bit and that's fine have a little bit but you're not gonna want to like stuff your face with it like when you're actually getting it in that hanger mode <laughs> so just just try it out let me know what you think another great tip for self-care especially nowadays is keep your area clean and neat as soon as you wake up i want you to make your bed I want you to make your bed as soon as you wake up. It's going to feel so good to have a made bed and keep your area clean. Right now, I know you have the time to clean. I know you have the time to keep your stuff tidy. And it just makes you feel like so much better psychologically when your stuff is neat. So just clean up your stuff. Maybe dedicate one day of the week to really just like clean your whole area. And then you're gonna feel so much better about yourself. Another really good tip is to pick up a new hobby now that you have the time for it. A lot of my friends have been saying that they've been using their time to you know, create art, paint something, read a book. Reading a book is something that I've kind of been putting off because it's not something I usually do. I'm going to start reading though, I am, especially now because I have the time to. I'm just like so addicted to watching series and like movies and stuff. But just pick up a new hobby. It's a really healthy way to spend your time. Something that's really been giving me fulfillment lately is creating content. It's something that I just started doing, but I just want to be able to give back and help people learn what I've learned. 
So that's something that's really fulfilling for me and it is a part of my self-care because I feel like I'm doing something that's adding value to other people's lives. And then by that, it's making me feel good too. So it's like a win-win. Definitely take advantage of the extra time. You will feel more accomplished, more motivated to keep doing it. Have control over your life. Stay positive and stay productive. You got this. You got this. Believe in yourself. That's really important. Please make sure to check out my recent videos on my fitness journey. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.